What is up, guys? It is the Blue Bloods here, and Grambling State and Hugh Jackson are making some more moves in the transfer portal at the quarterback spot. When you look at this team, they lost Elijah Walker to the transfer portal earlier this year. Noah Bowden announced his transfer shortly after that, just a, just about a week or so ago, maybe even a few days. Well, Hugh Jackson and Grambling wasted no time to go find some depth for that QB room, which now has Julian Chavez, freshman coming in, and also Holloway, a transfer from UCLA. Well, Amani Gilmore is headed to Grambling, a former Louisiana high school standout, played two years at North Texas and also played a year in which he redshirted at the University of Kentucky. Coming out of school, he did he did hold offers from both Jackson State and Southern, but he, it ultimately came down to Kentucky or Tennessee to where he went to college. He picked Kentucky. He was really primed. Kentucky fans really liked this kid. I went back and looked at some articles where he announced his transfer, and a lot of Kentucky fans were wishing the best for him. They said that the, he they think he is a power five starter at the at the college football level. He just never had his chance. After his redshirt year was the same year Kentucky brought in Will Levis, Joey Gatewood, and brought in a lot of transfers, and that QB room just got too crowded. Transfers to North Texas doesn't really fit into that program. Didn't really see action there. Well, now he has to Grambling to try to finish off his career. It's his home state, extremely close to where he played high school football, in which he was a three-star recruit that year, one of the top quarterbacks coming out of his recruiting class, the number 42 pro-style quarterback. And on top of that was a 2018 2A Louisiana State state champion it was their it was that school's first national championship in over 14 years and only the fifth in that school's history man and so grambling for me is getting an absolute just game not a game changer but just an athlete at the qb spot i was extremely extremely shocked that they listed him as a pro style quarterback as you can see right here he can move man he's not afraid of contact in the open field and he's just a baller when you look at his national championship run he was the mvp of the national championship in which he accounted for 300 plus 360 plus yards of the team's 440 plus total yards and also accounted for six touchdowns in the national championship game had 286 passing 80 rushing which led the team that game in his senior year he helped his high school average 40 points per game had over a thousand yards rushing 2000 plus total yards in his senior year played both football and baseball and the quote from his head coach uh coach powell he said quote throws the ball very well, is very accurate, can stay in the pocket, can beat you with his arm from the pocket, and can also beat you with his legs from outside the pocket. Very good high IQ when it comes to football, is a gym rat, loves to lift, and loves to work out. And he was, like I say, he was a former three-star, just hasn't found his place, man. 6'2", 220, really has put on some size since he graduated high school. But as you see in these highlights, he is just he's just a baller, man. He isn't going to have that just stand alone in the pocket where he's going to throw it. I'm going to get out of the pocket, can make you miss in the open field, and I'm just going to go make plays. The one, t the one drawback I saw a lot of people have is sometimes he can get a big bit reckless, throws a little off platform doesn't doesn't line his hips up but what he's going to do is keep his eyes downfield and when things break down is where he's at his best as you see here in this highlight man the pocket breaks down keeps his eyes downfield and finds somebody in the end zone when a lot of quarterbacks would just get too flustered in the pocket and not be able to find a play he is a gamer and so for me looking at the qb battle now you have holloway that is that has the big arm is really a more of a pro style guy you come in with amani gilmore now multiple stops a little bit of a little bit of experience and also an extremely high athletic upside as you see here man he is not easy to br bring down in the open field and so What's going to give out? And also, is Chavez ready to start as a true freshman? I'm not sure, but I'm, but looking at it, Hugh Jackson is probably going to start the guy who understands his offense the most. But for Gilmore, he has a beautiful deep ball, has the arm strength to back it up. It's just, can you protect the ball? He's going to take a lot of chances. As you can see here, he's, he's ready to throw with either arm. He's just looking to make a play downfield. So for Gilmore... 
Can you avoid turnovers in the swag if you become the starting quarterback? But when you look at him, he just has everything you want in terms of just going to make a play when it really is going to be tough. If the pocket breaks down, if no one's getting open, he can take off with his feet. He off he can beat you a lot of ways. Really and truly, his his play style really reminds me of what Auburn got in Nick Marshall in the 2013-2014 season where he could roll out of the pocket and everybody's coming up to tackle him and he's just going to dump it off right behind him. He's just going to launch the ball up to his big wide receivers, which Grambling has a lot of tall 6'4", 6'5", even 6'6", wide receivers to get the ball to. I think Gilmore, even though he comes in with not a, a ton of experience at North Texas or Kentucky, I do think he has the talent overall to challenge Halloween and Chavez for that starting QB job. It's just going to be the question becomes missing spring practice. Can he come in? How quickly can he learn the playbook? You know, ingratiate himself into the system of Hugh Jackson and who is going to earn Hugh Jackson's trust going into the 2022 season? That's the big question, but it was a big pickup. Former three-star Amani Gilmore finds his way to Grambling out of the transfer portal. We have an official three-way QB battle. Halloween, Chavez, and Gilmore are going to fight it out. Who do you think is going to start for Grambling in the 2022 season, in that season opener against Arkansas State? Comment your pick below. Comment below what you think of Gilmore head, heading into Grambling. What do you think he's going to bring to the offense? And do you think he can win that starting job? But, man, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Comment below, man, and stay tuned for more college football updates right here on the Blue Bloods. But until next time, the Blue Bloods are out. Mm -hmm.